blunder at the Polish border. The so-called vice prime minister of Ukraine's Crimean region has been allowed to travel to Warsaw. He arrived for a human rights conference organized by Europe's OSCE organization. Dmitry Polonsky managed to cross the border after changing the spelling of his surname in English. That's according to Poland's Interior Ministry. A correspondent from Ukraine Today's partner news agency, TSN, hunted down the pseudo-leader at the venue. He told reporter Margarita Sutnik, I came here on documents issued by the Russian Federation to me, legal documents prepared by the Russian state. When questioned about his visa, though, he remained silent, instead demanding to be let through to the conference. But at the venue, Crimeans who were driven out of their homeland last year during the Kremlin's invasion were outraged by Polonsky's appearance. One even threw coffee over his jacket. I'm in shock. We are in shock that a person with the occupying authorities, a person we equal to Goebbels, appears here. We are in shock. Meanwhile, Ukraine's ambassador to Poland said Polonsky's visit was a Kremlin provocation and a violation of international law. Actually, it shows that the Russians are capable of anything to change their names, their appearance, and maybe they'll even become little green men. Conference organizers banned Polonsky from speaking after he signed up as a representative of the Russian community in Crimea, not as the self-styled vice prime minister. Human Dimension Implementation Meeting of the OSCE is a forum for all civil society to come uh, and speak to their governmental representatives about any issues related to human rights or democracy in their, in their states. Um, for that reason, this, it's an open forum. Um, any civil society uh, is allowed to register and partake in the discussion. Um, and so uh, Mr. Polanski did register as a civil society representative. EU member states do not recognize Russia's March 2014 illegal annexation of Crimea and have imposed sanctions on Russian officials, including travel bans on Kremlin-installed officials on the Black Sea Peninsula.